Hello, this presentation has been developed by the SEOP education team at the National Crime Agency. The National Crime Agency is committed to protecting the public from serious and organised crime, and SEOP's role is to tackle the sexual abuse and exploitation of children, both online and offline. The Think You Know Education programme aims to empower and protect children and young people from sexual abuse and exploitation. In this presentation, we're going to introduce you to the Think You Know programme, highlight some of the resources available for you and your children, and remind you of some of the things you can do to keep your child safe online. So what is Think You Know? Think You Know provides professionals with the resources to teach children and young people aged four to 18 about sexual abuse online. Think You Know includes films, animations, websites, presentations and lesson plans which help professionals explore difficult and sensitive issues safely with children and young people. We also have created information and advice for parents and carers to help build their confidence and knowledge in protecting their children online. Parents and carers have told us they can feel overwhelmed by the internet. The emergence of new apps and games every day can make the internet feel vast and ever-changing. But the reality is that there are actually only a limited number of functions that apps and games can have. We recommend using a simple technique of breaking down an app into its key functions of viewing, sharing, chatting and friending. And asking some simple questions in order to gain a better understanding of how the app or game works. This will help you to focus on the safety messages you give your child based on what they are using. The internet provides lots of opportunities for young people to learn and gain information and support, but it is a public and open place, one where anybody can post and share content. Unfortunately, it can be easy for children to come across inappropriate, sexual or violent content online. Most apps and games, but not all, include privacy settings and security settings that allow you to control what content can be seen and shared. In addition, tools such as parental controls and filters can help to manage a child's online activities and what they're exposed to. However, these are never totally guaranteed. What is vital is open and ongoing conversations with young people about what they see online and making sure that they know they can talk to an adult if they see anything online that upsets them. So ask, what content can they see? Is it age appropriate? And what filter and privacy settings can be used? A key part of our education with children is talking to them about what they share online. It's easy to share things online that we wouldn't face to face, and it's important to talk to children about safe sharing. Children of primary school age are always encouraged to seek permission whenever they share something online, especially if they are sharing a photo with other children in it. With older children, it's important we explore the motivations to share online. An image or video should never be shared if they feel pressured, uncomfortable or blackmailed. We also want to encourage young people to look out for others by not sharing inappropriate content. So ask, what are they sharing and who are they sharing it with? Chatting and meeting new people on the internet can be fun and appealing for children. There are lots of online apps and communities that can be educational and supportive for them. However, this also opens up the opportunities for adults to contact children online. No matter how young your child is, if they're using a device that has the internet, it is important to talk to them about the people who contact them online. Some people online genuinely just want to chat or be friends, but others may put pressure on children or manipulate them into doing something they don't want to do. It's important to speak to your child openly and honestly about this. Children should always be advised not to share too much personal information online and never feel pressured to do something online they don't want to do. Sometimes children may find it difficult to tell you if something is worrying them online. They may be embarrassed or think you won't understand because you don't get their online lives. Other times they may have initiated the contact so they feel they're responsible or they may have been told they're responsible for what has happened. Most importantly, it's vital they know they can talk to you or another trusted adult if anything bothers or worries them. So ask, who are their friends and what are they sharing? Let's recap on some of that advice about things you can do to keep your child safe online. The best way you can protect your child is to establish a positive relationship with them around their life online. 
talk to them, not just once, but have ongoing conversations as part of your family life. Ask them what they're doing online, what they like and dislike about the apps and services they use. Take the opportunity to talk to them about how to stay safe on these services and in general. For example, you could ask about the types of issues that have arisen for their friends online and what advice they'd offer to help them to feel safe. Talking about others, like their friends, can help you avoid directly questioning what they do online and possible embarrassment. Explain to them any worries you might have. Your child might think you're getting worried for no good reason, but if you explain why something is troubling you, they will understand why you want to talk to them about it. Tell them if it's something you've read about or seen their friends doing. Remind them to report anything worrying and how they can do this. It's important that children and young people always know where to go if they come across something that worries them or makes them feel uncomfortable online. Make sure they know you would never blame them for anything that might happen online. To help, you could encourage them to speak to you or another adult immediately if they have any worries or concerns. Help them to identify a trusted adult they can approach if they feel they can't talk to you, even if this means on the phone. Make sure they know they can always report to SEOP if they are worried about sexual abuse online or if they're worried about something else that they can call a helpline like Childline. We'll tell you more about this at the end. So what about some practical steps you can take? You could create a family agreement about how much time you spend online doing different things and what games and apps are appropriate to use. Parental controls can be a quick and effective tool to help protect your child online, but they're not always a single solution to staying safe. Remember, talking to your children and encouraging responsible behaviour is critical. You can also direct your child to age appropriate information, especially teenagers, information about sex and relationships. For example, from our Think You Know site, Brooke, the sexual health organisation, the mix or child line. Of course, our Think You Know films and activities are a great way to start and continue chats about online safety. Our online safety at home activity packs contain simple 15 minute activities you can do with your child based on our education programme. We also have our websites for both children and for parents and carers. So let's take a little look at those. For primary age children, we have Jesse and Friends, Play Like Share and Band Runner. Jesse and Friends is a series of three animations for four to seven year olds. The series follows the adventures of Jesse, Tia and Mo as they begin to navigate the online world, watching videos, sharing pictures and playing games. There's a storybook for each episode to help you and your child keep the conversation going and a catchy song at the end aimed to reinforce the film's messages. Play Like Share is for 8 to 11 year olds. It follows the adventures of Alfie, Ellie and Sam as they form a band and enter their school's Battle of the Bands contest, taking on the mean but cool popcorn wizards as they go. The three friends learn that while the internet can help, they need to use it wisely and safely. The films teach children how to spot the early signs of manipulative, pressurising and threatening behaviour by people they might meet online and develops their confidence to respond safely and get help. Messaging you? Yeah, block him right good, Elfie. Bandrunner is a fun interactive game on the 8 to 11's website. It features the characters and safety messages from Play Like Share and puts children's knowledge about online safety to the test by asking them to help the characters to make safe choices.
The point of the video is to demonstrate that young people haven't changed. Young people are still doing all the same things adults did when they were young, but in new ways. Social media has changed the way young people communicate, but their curiosity about friendships and relationships remains the same. Having a supportive parent or carer can make all the difference in helping children explore these themes as safely as possible. There are two teen Think You Know websites, one for 11 to 13 year olds and one for the 14 plus. The websites help young people to develop healthy approaches to friendships, relationships and the internet. It teaches them to identify negative or unhealthy behaviour, respond with resilience and know where to go for help if they ever feel anxious or threatened online or in a relationship. They cover topics such as consent, healthy and unhealthy relationships, pressurising and threatening behaviours online and reporting abuse to NCA CEOP. The Think You Know Parents and Carers website contains a wealth of information and advice for parents and carers on keeping their children safe online. You can visit it at www.thinkyouknow.co.uk forward slash parents. The website is divided into three sections. I need to report an incident for information and support when something has already happened. I'm concerned about my child for information and support when there are concerns about a child or a young person. I'd like to understand more about keeping my child safe. This has preventative information and advice on keeping children safe online. We also have a website called Parent Info. Parent Info is a partnership project between NCA CEOP and the parent organisation Parent Zone. It's a website and advice service for parents and carers which aims to build the resilience of their children through articles, tips and advice. The articles are written by expert organisations on a whole range of topics, all linked by the internet. The website is divided into the following categories, games, apps and tech, parenting, safety and settings, relationships and sex, education in the future, health and wellbeing. CEOP is part of the National Crime Agency, a law enforcement agency. The NCA CEOP website hosts an online reporting tool made specifically for children and young people in order for them to report concerns related to online sexual abuse and exploitation. Before accessing the reporting form, information is available on the types of reports CEOP receive and what happens following a report. Children and their parents can make a report to CEOP if they are concerned about sexual abuse online. The CEOP reporting is specifically designed for children so that they can always have somewhere to go if they're worried about sexual abuse online. The reporting form is designed to be as accessible as possible to children, but it's highly recommended that young children of a primary school age seek the support of an adult they trust if they need help in making a report. We encourage children to report or speak to someone if they're worried about anything. CEOP can only respond to concerns related to sexual abuse online. So if you or your child need support with other online issues, for example, online bullying, there are other organisations who can help. Remind your child they can always call Childline. Childline is a confidential 24 seven counselling service run by the NSPCC. It's for all children up to the age of 19. Children can speak to a trained counsellor on the phone or online about any issue they're going through, no matter how big or small. The MIX is another confidential helpline and support service for young people under the age of 25. The MIX specialises in topics such as sex and relationships, drugs, mental health and finding a job. Thank you for taking time to join us today. For more information on any of the resources we've talked about, reporting or further advice and guidance, visit our website. Don't forget about the reporting tool on our safety centre and you can keep up to date by following us on Twitter or Facebook.